<laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was fun. Did you take cool. the same line I did? I follow Dan, so whatever line. And I took your line, so yeah. Okay. That was fun. Yeah, okay. Pop down in, then another little. Yeah. Pop out. Good morning, mountain bikers. I'm Chris Wessels, and you are watching MTB Trail Review. Today, we are doing something different. We are currently in the middle of nowhere, and we're going to drop down a truck trail. We're gonna get 3,000 feet of descent with little climbing, and uh, we're gonna go explore. So I'm excited to do something a little bit different. I have no idea what this ride is gonna be like, what it entails, but at the very least, it's gonna be beautiful. Here we go. So we're dropping into the Jasper Trail. This is a truck trail, or a Jeep trail that you can drive to. Um, there's a couple of single track offshoots that we're going to go kind of check out and explore. There's also lots of different rocks and opportunities for free ride that we're going to look at. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to see. There's a sign for mountain lions in the area. So, yay. Across that Pretty road. good looking out here, guys. What's that? I'm talking to the camera. I think it's Pretty good looking. It should be right here. Right on the other side of this. I took a. Uh, Alicia was still pregnant. Um, got up there. Yeah, you should come out here and build some really cool single track, that's for sure. Hand wash. Great place to work on your fast high speed corners. I mean, your flat high speed corners. Looking for little features off to the side, see if we can find some slabs or anything. Uh, we stopped in one spot that definitely had some potential, but nothing that was quite there. So, see if we find anything. And like I said, at the very least, we're getting 3,000 feet of descent. So we just spotted a single track, and we think it pops back out onto this road. So we're gonna. Go have a little look see. Good. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, go for it. Oh. 
the rock. Whew, it's a rat. Ah, washed out, my bad. Travis, do you wanna go ahead of me? Okay, let me know. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I'm definitely sliding a little bit. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Slippy, slippy! Big rock. Right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I got one that hurt. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you gotta watch those. <laughs> There's a lot of cactus really close to the trail. It would be very easy to have a bad day here. Oh, we're bushwhacking a little bit. It's not too bad. It's definitely a trail. Did we miss a turn somewhere? Yeah, I caught that one too. So we came to a point where our trail kind of ended. Um, it looks like we can go up around that knoll and then there's a trail that takes us to the other side, but that's gonna get us away from where our other vehicle is. And it looks like there used to be a trail here, but it's gone. So we're gonna hike back up. The descent was worth it though, that was fun. Yeah. All right, back on the fire road. This section is definitely steeper. And uh, sounds like there's a couple features at the bottom of this that we're going to stop and look at. So that's cool. Oh, it's not there anymore? Yeah. Oh, there used to be a drop there, not anymore. My bad, Jared. That's cool. burn there. That would have been cool if I was in the right position. Oh nice dude.
That section was rad. It's coming up on your ride, Jared. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Dirt surfing for sure. Oh, that was close. That was close. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I ran out of it. That was close. So this is, all right, obviously this is super soft, but it's kind of fun because we're going downhill just enough to where you don't need to pedal. You can still carry speed, but you can get going pretty quick if you want. And we're almost like fighting the bike. I don't know. It's just, it's different. It's fun. Oh, bad line. <laughs> If you have ever ridden the whole enchilada, this is a lot like that middle section, but not as bad. Like where that middle section was fun before you were over it. Ah. If you just look up, this is pretty rad. Yeah, it is, because we're just cruising in the desert. This is literally what's like dirt biking, just for the motor. You're just kind of like, oh, that's a This is pretty rad. And it's cool because we're actually going downhill, so that's a pedal or something. Like but you don't have to pedal if you don't want to. You don't have to, but... It's fun to go a little you faster. Speed up a little bit. Yeah. We're probably doing like 20 some odd miles down right now, just cruising along. I'm here to see what our top speeds look like. I bet you it's at least 30. Especially up there, we start opening yeah. up. Yeah, this, this trail is not slow. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out a different type of ride with me. While it wasn't the normal single track that you're going to see on my channel, it was cool to get a different kind of descent with all of the incredible views starting in the mountains and dropping all the way down to Anza Borrego. While it wasn't the normal stay focused type of single track ride, we did have to stay focused because it was a just rowdy, fast, loose descent. If there's any other rides in the San Diego area you would like to see me review, tell me about it in the comments. And 
As always, thanks for hitting the trails with me. I'm looking forward to our next ride. Uh...